Hi everyone, we finally reached the point in the course where we can, um, or the point in the web development life cycle where we're actually going to be reviewing and testing our websites. Um, by now, uh, I'm guessing you will have um, some sort of uh, pages uh, that are linked together, pages that may, you may or may not have gotten dabbled into applying your CSS styles yet, but at least you have some content. Um, and you've been going through a process of um, prototyping it for your client and getting their um, feedback. Um, you also have uploaded drafts uh, to lab webs. Now specifically what we're talking about is how we can review and test those pages in terms of validation. And one of the tools we're going to be using that is from the W3 Consortium's uh, web page validator. So one thing that you need to do to get started is you need to make sure you know where your root file is, your root folder is. And I have my, uh, for example, for this purposes, I'm going to use the EcoStyle website that we have been um, learning with in our with our Linda resources. So for example, in a second here, I'm going to I'm going to open this in my browser real quick. We're going to be validating this page here. This is the eco style website that you've been working on through your Linda resources. So we're going to be validating this um, against current web standards. Um, it's important to uh, validate your content for many reasons. Um, one of which is to make sure that your code is effective and efficient um, for other um, web designers to in the future to main update and maintain so they can quickly get in and figure out what to do but also you know making sure your code is a, effective and efficient in terms of efficiency making sure that your code loads the content uh, in the browser uh, quickly for the user to be able to access so um, to get started what we're going to need to do is uh, we know where our root folder is now let's go to the URL which is uh, validator .w3.org and now what we're going to do is we're going to be validating our file by file upload and what you're going to do is you're going to be browsing your computer for the root root folder and the specific pages that you're going to be validating for our purposes today we're going to be validating um, all uh, five wait six of these pages of the eco style website so let's go ahead and start with the index page. So what we do is we click on the index page. It's now here within the file upload queue and now we're going to hit check. When we hit check, what it's going to do is it's going to check your the code against current web standards and it's going to give us a list of errors if there's any errors. If you get this green bar, it's going to let you know that uh, your web page, this web specific page in your website does validate, does validate, it does pass. It uh, says congratulations and gives you some other information. So now what we want to do is let's go back and check some of our other pages. So our index page is good. So hit the back button. Browse again. Let's go ahead and check the woman page. Hit check. And this page does validate. So we're doing well. Um, don't get uh, overwhelmed with some of the errors that you're getting. You know, in a second here, we're actually going to get an error um, on one of these pages, and it is common, you know, for uh, different uh, for getting certain closing certain things in terms of elements, or um, uh, missing something here or there, or having an element within an element that doesn't work. Um, it, it is common. So now we're checking the thank you page. Now let's go ahead and jump to the page that I know has two errors. Let's go to the men page. That's the next page here on our list. Now it says there's two errors found within this document. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to the bottom. It's going to talk to us specifically about where the what the error is and where the error is located. Sometimes it's a little difficult to understand exactly what they're talking about in terms of uh, what the error is and sometimes this validator isn't exactly precise and letting you know it might give you an it, all, what I'm trying to say is this uses as kind of like um, the this gives you an idea of where the error could be it's not necessarily going to be found on line 169 but um, for our purposes say with this video it is going to be found in that line but that's not always going to be the case so definitely use this as an area of uh, like a research tool to, kind of to give you more information on where you can go out and search for these errors. So now I'm going to pop over to Dreammover. I'm going to open up that file. It 
This is what the page looks like in design view. This is what the page looks like in code view. Um, if by chance you have uh, completed working with a eco style site, you might uh, be able to follow along with me in going and actually finding these errors. So let's look specifically what did this even say our errors was. It says that the required attribute alt is not specified. So this has to do with an images and, and it's a current web standard to have alternate text for all of the images uh, that you have on your site. So and it looks up oh, the second the second error is the exact same thing. So now let's go both of them are on line 69. Um, let's go and find these errors. So let's scroll down to line 169. And basically all of these here, these images, popular design view, are basically these images here that are on the home page. Remember, because what we, we, the user can do is click on these images of these different guys and it shows a fuller view of the fashion, um, of the fashion example from this website. It says, so basically we can search for the alternate text. Let's see here. Um, right here, here's one alternate text. Here's another one. And here's another one. And here's another one. So basically there's six different photos, but it looks like the first two photos do not have the alternate text. So let's go ahead and find this first photo. That is right here. So the alternate text traditionally would come straight after the location of the file. So alt equals and the naming convention that uh, the Linda is Lin, not Linda. Uh, the the author of these videos and the, this website is trying to get us to use is the thumbs. So it's going to say we want it to say uh, where is it here. Thumb space six. So let's for this one says this is the first one T H U M B space one. Let's save it. Pop back over to the validator. Let's check it again. See what happens. Now we just have one error. It says that the next error is also on page on line one sixty nine. So we can pop back over here, and the second error is actually here in the second image. So notice there's no alt here. So alt equals thumb two. So we can back up and check the file again. And now it has passed successfully. Um, again, don't be discouraged in validating your pages. Uh, it is a requirement to have all of your pages validate um, for your term project. If you have trouble with specific errors, you know, send me your files. I can help go in and look at them and help you figure out what those errors are. I'm not just going to fix the errors for you and send them back, but I will try to lead you down the right direction on how to fix those errors. The best way to ensure that you're not having errors is, you know, making sure your code is effective and efficient. See all these different, making sure your code is, uh, well, commenting doesn't necessarily help you. Uh, fix errors, but it helps you kind of organize your content, your, your code to help you, you know, know where things are and help other designers know where they are. But also organi organizing your code. Um, Joomla does do a good job of that, of you know, sp tabbing and spacing things over for you. Um, one of the things that I would recommend doing if a student was to turn this in is I would recommend them organizing this a little bit more um, to ha to increase the readability of this. Um, but just Anyways, by increasing the readability and having things organized, it will help you find errors um, more easily and prevent yourself from even making errors. Anyways, so good luck validating your pages. Um, be sure that all of your pages do validate because that is one of the things that I will check for when you turn in your term projects at the end of next week. Um, and again, you know, let the class or I know um, what errors you're having and we can help you figure them out. So have a good day and I will see you later in the class.